Hello, my name is Marcello, and all of us from TSAV would like to welcome you to the Source Audio Video Design Group's YouTube channel. Welcome back to those joining us again. Today we will look at the brand new flagship open back expanse headphones from Dan Clark Audio. This video will discuss some design features, build quality, and some of my initial sound impressions. I usually don't go as deep into sound impressions for a first look video. Still, ever since bringing the expanse home from CanJam, I have been listening to them, and I couldn't help but share some of my notes from one of my many listening sessions I've had since coming home with them. First, let's briefly discuss some design, tech specs, build quality, and comfort of the Expanse. Then we can get into my sound impressions. The Expanse uses DCA's new fourth generation planar magnetic driver and their incredible acoustic meta material tuning system found in the DCA Stealth I reviewed on this channel shortly after they were released last year. The Expanse uses DCA's V planar driver processing, which helps to improve bass response and lower distortion, along with TrueFlow version 2, which helps to increase resolution and improve dynamics. The drivers are the largest to date from DCA, 76mm by 51mm, single-ended planar magnetic, with each driver matching 0.25 dB, weighted 20 to 10 Hz, and less than 0.03% THD, 20 to 20 kHz, for an extremely accurate distortion-free sound. Made from titanium, aluminum, and carbon, the Expanse weighs less than 420 grams and packs small with Dan Clark's excellent folding gimbal design. Weighing in at 418 grams, the Expanse is one of the lightest flagship headphones today and are arguably the most portable full-size flagship headphones. The Expanse uses a self-adjusting suspension system, a beautifully stitched premium leather preformed ergonomic strap with a nickel titanium headband making for an excellent headband design. The stitching isn't just for the style, it also helps to dissipate heat buildup when worn on the head for long periods. The tensioning also feels even better on the self-adjusting headband than I remember the Stealth did when I reviewed them last year. The Expanse uses synthetic suede and protein leather pads with very little clamp force. This low clamping force, the excellent headband system, and the lightweight design of the Expanse create one of the most comfortable headphones in the world. Dan and I talked a bit about the philosophy of building comfortable headphones at CanJam on our live stream, and he said all his headphones must pass an 8 hour listening test to be considered comfortable. I love this about Dan's headphones, as many other manufacturers put comfort secondary, taking away from the listening experience. Based on mathematical functions derived from generative design principles, the grills of the Expanse reduce weight while also looking unique and aesthetically pleasing. The Expanse includes a carrying case, Vivo cable termination of your choice, certificate of authenticity, and manual. I will link to our website in the video details and our live stream with Dan Clark at the end of this video so you get some more information about the Expanse's design, inspiration, and technical details. Okay, let's get into my sound impressions. Listening to Nils Fromm's All Melody number no. 2 off his Sunset album with The Expanse is mesmerizing. The class leading pin drop black soundstage with incredible width, depth, and imaging allowed me to localize every sound cohesively on these two tracks while not forcing me to overanalyze the music as other flagship headphones have done in the past. Add the fact of how comfortable the Expanse headphones are weighing under 420 grams with amazingly comfortable pads and headband system, I forgot I was listening to music on headphones at all and went into a trance, leaning back in my stressless chair and melting away into the music with what seemed like one oxytocin hit after another flowing from the music throughout my body. This is Dan Clark at his finest. When the song momentum began and the vocals on the track emerged, I fell deeper into the Expanse. When the next song Fundamental Value started and Richard Koch began to play, I was so deep in the Expanse at this point that I realized I was no longer reviewing these headphones, but I was becoming one with the music, which is what I am searching for when listening to headphones. An experience all too often that is more challenging to achieve with headphones versus my Olympica Nova 5 tower speakers. Every key strike from Nils could be heard precisely, not just the strike, but the weight of his fingers on the keys. When Kaleidoscope began, the synths and deep bass at the beginning of the track released another dose of oxytocin. I started to wonder, could this listening experience get any better? It's as if the Expanse headphones and Nils Fromm's Sunsen album were made for each other, fed by my core TT2 on Rob Watt's favorite filter, number two. I didn't want to stop listening or change the album or genre, and I didn't want to evaluate any further. I just wanted to fall deeper into the expanse. Vocals surrounded me, imaging stage right, left, and center, with the synthesizer floating above, totally immersed in the expanse's soundstage. Knowing that you guys will want to know how other genres of music sound with the expanse, 
I decided to queue up Bob Moses to make my transition from Nils. The track Nothing At All is queued up from the Days Gone By album on Rune, and an impactful deep bass line meets me with no bleed from the bass into the mids. The vocal sounds superb, perfectly imaged center stage, with all the electronic production clearly defined and perfectly placed. The depth of the stage and the accuracy of the sound as they appear on the stage continue to impress me as I listen. The bass is beautifully done, which on some headphones can take away from the soundstage, but not with the expanse. I fired up Desire Next from Bob Moses and Zoo and was rewarded with another instant oxytocin hit on the song's opening. This is what I'm talking about. This is why I love what I do so much. The vocals on the track float in the air with the synth sounding spectacular as the bass line hits. There is a healthy amount of bass making the song an absolute joy to enjoy on the expanse. The piano key hits are powerful and impactful with excellent energy. The sense of punch and dynamics is more significant from the expanse than any other DCA headphones I have ever heard. Love Brand New came on next. The deep bass line, electric guitar, and vocal sound spectacular across this banger of a track. Next, I queued up the Weekend's Dawn FM to hear how deep the expanse could reach into the sub bass regions and how they would present the Weekend's vocals. As Gasoline began to play, I was nodding and vibing to the music again to a superbly balanced signature between the synths, bass line, and the Weekend's vocals with what is one of my favorite sound stages of any headphones I have ever heard. Next, I queued up Mombasa off Inception from the one and only Hans Z, baby. I wanted to hear how The Expanse presented dynamics, punch, and the speed of this fast-moving track. I was not disappointed. The speed of The Expanse driven by the TT2 was fast and dynamic, creating a good sense of punch when called for on this track, especially in the song's opening. Next, I queued up MJ's Wanna Be Starting Something, and I am jamming again. I struggle to find anything I dislike about The Expanse's sound or build quality. I like the stealth with some genres of music, but it was not my preferred sound signature for all the music I listen to. For me, The Expanse is the best DCA headphone ever made and is tuned in a way I can truly appreciate all the music I enjoy. Next, I queued up Jimi Hendrix's All Along the Watchtower. The drums, guitar, and Jimmy's vocals sound exceptionally balanced, with Jimmy's vocals floating slightly above my head. The guitar has an incredible tone and electricity to its sound without sounding harsh or shrill. The cymbals splash like a world-class high diver into the crisp blue Mediterranean Sea. The music sounds so lifelike and natural. So knowing Dan and I both love Dire Straits, I had to queue up Money for Nothing to hear how he voiced the expanse's sound. Yeah, buddy, I'm hooked when the guitar comes in on the song's opening. My compliments to the chef, Dan. You have a legendary set of headphones on your hands. Lastly, I put on ACDC Thunderstruck, my fifth through sixth grade basketball team's song. Our coach would always fire the song up on the bus before every game. The electric guitar and cymbals sound exceptional, super defined and clean right out the gate. The chorus drops in and here we go again. The oxytocin is starting. No headphones have been able to do this for me in a long time. Ooh wee, when that kick drum drops in though, that slam and bass sound exhilarating. Angus's vocals and the electric guitar have just enough energy to make them shine, straddling up to the line, but without crossing it for my preferences on this track, not sounding fatiguing or harsh. Listen, I could go on and on, and I will compare the Expanse to a few other headphones at this price point that I have in-house, as well as give you more impressions from more genres of music, as you guys always request that, and it's a big part of our hobby. But I will leave that for the next video in this series, because right now, all I want to do is listen to these headphones and the passion, precision, engineering, and love Dan and his crew have put into the Expanse, the best DCA headphones ever made. At the time of filming this video, I have absolutely no complaints about The Expanse, and if you watch my videos from my personal YouTube channel in the past, or all the videos I have created on our TSEV channel over the last year, I always discuss some positives as well as a few things I would like or wish were a bit better about every product. Is there a headphone that maybe does just one thing better but falls behind in many other areas? Maybe, but when I'm listening to music, I want to hear a complete product that gets everything or almost everything right for it to be considered the best of the best, and that is what I have heard so far from The Expanse. I would be crazy not to recommend you give them a listen ASAP if you are in the market for flagship headphones, as they are easily one of the best headphones I have ever heard for my preferences, putting them in the holy grail headphones class for me. The upper mid-range has enough energy to give all the definition I want, but without coming across too forward giving me listening fatigue. The bass sounds deep, rich, and impactful, and the treble has enough energy to provide superb air and sparkle without sounding artificial or overdone. The punch and slam are the best I have heard from any DCA headphones, which should help quiet some of us who wanted a bit more punch or slam from DCA headphones, including myself. 
the timbre and tone of the Expanse aren't overly analytical, but still fall into a reference class of planar magnetic headphones displaying ultra accuracy, truckloads of detail, and realism rarely heard from headphones at this level without sounding artificially overdone. The soundstage is intoxicating and makes a soundstage lover like me so happy and fully engulfed in music when listening. Paired with high quality and high current amplification, both tube and solid state, I'm confident the Expanse is a legend in the making that will be a flagship headphone that many will love. Stay tuned for the next video in this series, and don't forget to check out the links in the video description if you want to learn more about the DCA Expanse with free overnight shipping, no tax, and pick up a pair for yourself. We hope you enjoy this first look video of my experiences with the DCA Expanse. Let's hear from our viewers. Have you got a chance to listen to the Expanse yet? What did you think? Please do me a favor while you're there, smash that like button for us and subscribe today for more headphone videos. Until next time, friends, remember, let the music be your guide.